Yes, please do. Dr. Krapta, ma'am. Good afternoon. Please take your seat. Thanks. You are Mr. Miraj. Yes, sir. Miraj, tell us something about you. Uh, sir, my name is Miraj Jamil. I am from Purnia, Bihar. Uh, I completed my primary and secondary education from Purnia itself. Then I pursued B.Tech from uh, Devbhumi Institute of Technology, Dehradun. Uh, my stream was Electronics and Communication. Then after that, I started preparing for civil services. You did your B.Tech in which year? 2016. 2016. Yes, sir. So, rather than getting into engineering domain, why you are trying to become a civil servant? Uh, sir, actually, I always wanted to enter uh, into the service, but uh, my father is was actually uh, right now he's retired. Uh, he was uh, very close to the service, so he thought that there is very uncertainty in the service. So he thought it's better to pursue B Tech so that uh, there will be a plan B if I cannot make it. That's why I chose B Tech. Okay, and. Uh Electronics and Communication Engineering was your uh, yes, sir. discipline. Yes, sir. So, what will an Electronics and Communication Engineer be helpful for the service? Sir, uh, it will be helpful because uh, today we are talking about e-governance. Everything we are trying to use, leverage the technology, even small technologies like social media, so as to reach to the people and reduce the power gap. So I can use that uh, my knowledge, my domain knowledge and administrative services so that uh, to better reach the people and uh, um, bridge that power gap between the administration and the people. Tell me, tell me the historical and social significance of Purnia. Sir, it is uh, one of the oldest district of Bihar. It was uh, formed by the East India Company in 1770. Initially, it combined the present day districts of Katiyar. Araria and even Kishanganj, they were bifurcated later on and so during the time of, uh, actually during the time of British, it was a military uh, province. So it was uh, used to protect the British Empire from the tribal raids and uh, tribes of the Northeast. So how about uh, present day Punia? Sir, so right now it is a division. Uh, which comprises of four uh, districts of Katiyar, Purnia, Kishanganj and Araria. Uh, it has emerged as a uh, education hub and also a medical hub. Okay. If you look at the current uh, Bihar, yes. it appears that uh, the underdevelopment of Bihar, obviously it is affecting Bihar, but unfortunately it is dragging the entire nation. Do you agree with this perception that uh, underdevelopment in Bihar and some other uh, states like Bihar, they have become quite a drag to the national development? No, sir, I don't really agree with this argument because, uh, uh, yeah, it is correct that Bihar is one of the most backward states in India. But uh, since it is a backward, there is also very much opportunity. Like we are seeing that uh, in the recent times, Bihar is witnessing very good growth, more than even 10%. So we can leverage and like there's very much potential. We know about the human resource of the Bihar. Uh, they are known for their hardworking nature and even agriculture. We have very fertile soil. So if we uh, properly invest in the uh, human development and the resources, then we can uh, even become a growth pole for the India. We can take a uh, whole country forward. If we have to look, since you come from uh, from a discipline like uh, electronics and communication engineering, if we forget about the old rhetoric of having uh, agro industry, if we look for sophisticated industries in Bihar, what are the possibilities, sir? Uh, other than agro industries, sir. Other than agro, there are very limited opportunities. Like we can develop tourism sector. We can also develop, sir, because it is a flood flood prone area. Uh, especially northern Bihar. So we can go for aquaculture type of uh, industries. Uh, other than this, uh, there is very much potential for food processing industries because it... Since we are in the, as a nation, we are in the business of redrawing boundaries of the states. Yes, uh, we recently did it in Kashmir. Don't you think that after uh, leaving Jharkhand, now Bihar has become an unsustainable state in itself. 
it's time we redraw the boundaries and probably take some part of uh, Uttar Pradesh and amalgamate it with Bihar and make it a sustainable uh, state. Sir, uh, it's not if like not union territory. Okay, sir, there are various opportunities, but uh, the problem was earlier there was a lack of proper governance. Right now we are saying that government is investing uh, in facilities like uh, government has increased its uh, capital what expenditure. What is the rationale of continuing uh, Bihar as a state? Uh, I mean, why not Purvanchal, a bigger Purvanchal that yes, includes uh, entire Bihar and Purvanchal? Sir, that will uh, be more sustainable, that will make sense, that will have a more or less homogeneous culture? Yes sir, you are correct, but still Bihar is also sustainable. If properly managed, we, uh, it has very rich human resource in the form of the people. Even agriculture, agriculture, uh, we have all the natural resources which are required for to be a agriculturally uh, good state. We have fertile soils, we have abundance of water. So if we will properly utilize this uh, resource, we can uh, become a good, more than sustainable state. So uh, I think that uh, there is a need of proper governance, which was uh, lacking in the previous days. But right now we are seeing some improvement, so hopefully in the future, we will go see good results. Thank you, Miraz. Okay, Miraz, uh, what is the meaning of your name? Sir, it, uh, it actually means zenith, uh, something like Bulandi, zenith. Okay. Uh, so, you have completed your graduation in electronics and communication. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, how this ECE, in short, uh, electronics and communication is going to help you uh, to serve the society? Sir, uh, just like I said, uh, we can, uh, I can use this, my domain uh, domain knowledge uh, to use, make use of technologies like uh, I can encourage, uh, like in Bihar, if we talk about Bihar, I can encourage farmers to adopt uh, new technologies like drip irrigation and all these we can also use since there is a too much power gap power distance between administration and the people right now so i can use uh, even social media platforms or whatsapp for even for that matter in to, order to use social media platform yes, you sir. need not to be a uh, engineer yes sir you are right i'm just asking specifically about your branch sir uh, what was your favorite subject in that cell trunks and com communication mm -hmm. Sir, uh, maths in the first sem. Maths. What is the use, practical use of Taylor series? Taylor series? Sir, I can't, I don't remember right now. Fourier? Fourier what is the sir, formula of Fourier series? Sir, formula I don't know, but... Uh, application, I, I, practical application. Okay, yes sir. Sorry sir, I am not okay. able to recall. Uh, coming back to your, uh, what is your optional subject? Sir, geography. Geography. In which part you are comfortable in geography? Sir, in geography, uh, Indian geography. Indian geography. Uh, okay, why the western part of India is more dynamic than that of eastern part of India? Sir, in terms of? Dynamic. So, western part is more dynamic. Uh, western coast, uh, western part of western coast is more dynamic than that of your eastern coast. For example, if in Bengal, there is Kala Jadu, in Maharashtra, there is Kala Jadu. No sir, it's not like that. Uh, we can find such superstition in Maharashtra also. Like we can... Uh, we comparatively, ratio... Comparatively, yes sir. It is more in... Sir, one reason is the lack of proper education and awareness among the people. Like we can see in Bihar, even for that matter, West Bengal, people are uh, relatively less uh, educated. So they believe in all these things. Okay, okay. Uh, what is the sex ratio currently in Bihar? Sir, uh, it's uh, 916. 916. Yes, sir. Should we raise it or is it comfortable? No, uh, it, it's not comfortable. We should try to raise we it. Should. What should we do for uh, raising the sex ratio? Sir, first of all, we need to make society aware about the importance of having girls. They think that uh, it, uh, rather than seeing it as a benefit to the society, they see it as a burden due to um, uh, traditions like dowry system and all these. So first of all, we need to uh, encourage them, aware them, so that uh, they, will, they will themselves know how important the women are in the society. Okay, any other measures? 
सर सेकेंड इज प्रॉपर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ लॉज लाइक पी सी पी एन डी टी सो एज टू एबॉलिश और एलिमिनेट सेक्स सेलेक्टिव एबॉर्शंस वाई एबॉर्शंस आर देयर सर देर आर मेनी फैक्टर्स फॉर इट लाइक देर आर सोशो कल्चरल फैक्टर्स लाइक पीपल डिजायर फॉर द पीपल्स डिजायर फॉर द बॉय चाइल्ड जस्ट लाइक आई सेट ड्यू टू दे कंसिडर गर्ल्स टू बी अ बर्डन ऑन द सोसाइटी ऑन द हाउस दे हैव टू अरेंज फॉर द डॉरी एंड ऑल दिस सर सेकेंड इज द पैट्रियाल माइंड सेट ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ द सोसाइटी दे कंसिडर वेमेन टू बी अ सब सर्वेंट टू मैन ऑल दिस थिंग्स कलमिनेट इन टू लो सेक्स रेशियो ओके कमिंग बैक टू योर सब्जेक्ट अगेन रिसेंटली चंद्रयान टू हैज बिन लॉन्च फ्रॉम सर फ्रॉम श्री हरिकोटा वाई श्री हरिकोटा वाई नॉट अदर प्लेसेज सर बिकॉज इट इज़ लोकेटेड ऑन द ईस्टर्न कोस्ट सो इफ एनी मिस हैपनिंग्स टुक प्लेस डेब्रिस विल फॉल इन द बे ऑफ बंगाल रेदर दैन ऑन द मेन लैंड इंडिया तो अरबियन सी में अगर कर लेते तो so no earth rotates from east to west now that's that's okay. why any uh, meteorological observatory has been established in india meteorological so i'm not aware how geography is going to help in science technology in science technology what is the role of geography in science technology so geography is very important like uh, we have uh, uh, टेलीस्कोप एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल सेंटर्स इन लद्दाख बिकॉज इट इज इट हैज क्लाउडलेस क्लाइमेट लाइक सो दैट वी कैन हैव ए क्लियर व्यू ऑफ द स्काई सो जोग्राफी प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल ओके वॉट इज द थ्री मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ बी आर सर मेजर प्रॉब्लम सर सर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक इज लो लिटरेसी रेट सेकेंड इज लैक ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट और एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट and third is a uh, recurring floods and droughts problem flood is really a problem yes sir really it's a problem had especially been, in the north had there not been flood yes sir in past mm-hmm. uh we can't imagine the flood plain that is the largest plain in so the world so you are right but uh, uh, people are, like uh, we should not neither the people are aware about how how to save their crops and livestock from uh these so floods so it is the flood to be blamed or the people to be blamed so sir uh, the people on their part cannot be blamed because uh, it is also the uh, responsibility of the government to take steps so that flood can be uh, at least reduced okay uh let's suppose and you know, assume that uh, the time has come uh, flood is vanished yes sir okay totally stopped from in our country it is going to be beneficial for india or not so uh, it will not be totally beneficial because then flood plains will not be replenished every year or like uh, and they will they may be uh, water shortage problems uh, like floods also help in replenishing ground water so they will they may be some issues what are the water issues in bihar so there are uh, bihar has abundance of water but uh, the real problem is like contamination of ground waters such as arsenic contamination so there's no sh- uh, sh- shortage of water as such but there's a problem of uh, contamination ground water contamination otherwise water availability is good sir good. Yes. all over the bihar or you are talking specifically no, sir uh, there are some regions like southwest bihar uh, which is somewhat drought prone okay uh what are the neighboring districts of what what was your district sir purnia purnia what are neighboring districts uh, sir uh, in north east it is kishanganj uh, in north in north it is araria in south uh, katiar and so that's it i don't remember the western one okay given a chance suppose you are given authority what is one change that you would like to make in education system in bihar or in entire india education system uh, sir education system needs one comp- change only one change sir i will uh, make it a more interactive and active learning system rather than being just really uh, limited to bookish knowledge so that people themselves children them- themselves are interested and they will uh, come and to how sc- you are going to do that sir uh, we can uh, make it interactive by the use of technology digi- uh, digital boards and all these okay what are cluster mirage 
सर क्लस्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज आर लाइक प्लेसेस वेयर वेरियस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट्स और सर्विसेज यूनिट्स कम टुगेदर टू बी सिचुएटेड एट द प्लेस टू टेक द एडवांटेज ऑफ गुड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड अदर फैसिलिटीज लाइक टैक्स हॉलीडेज एंड ऑल वट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर एंड इंडस्ट्रियल क्लस्टर सर कॉरिडोर द एक्सपेंस ऑफ कॉरिडोर इज मच लार्जर दैन क्लस्टर लाइक डेली मुंबई कॉरिडोर एंड क्लस्टर्स कैन बी लोकेटेड इन ए मच स्मॉलर जोग्राफिकल एक्सटेंट करेंटली जम्मू एंड कश्मीर स्टेटस हैज बीन चेंज वट वुड बी द बेस्ट प्लान और बेस्ट डेवलपमेंट प्लान अकॉर्डिंग टू यू फॉर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर द मेन पोटेंशियल ऑफ द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इज दैट ऑफ टूरिज्म वी कैन इफ देर इज अ पीस एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी वी कैन लेवरेज दैट टूरिज्म वेरी वेल एंड अदर पोटेंशियल कैन बी दैट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर सो वी कैन यूज इट लाइक जाफरान इज इट इज फेमस फॉर द जाफरान एंड फ्रूट्स लाइक एप्पल so we can promote that also okay, and what is the same pl- uh, same development uh, idea for bihar in bihar sir we will have to take the region specific uh, um, developmental plans for example in the north and no- especially northeast it is very fertile and water is also abundant so we can promote agriculture there even fishery we can promote aquaculture in south or and southwest we have some minerals in rohtas and kamur hills so there we can promote industries in the form of cement cement but rohtas is known as rice bowl of bihar yes sir which minerals are found there uh, sir uh, limestone any example of that so specific mines you know any limestone any sir, place uh, where it is found sir uh exact place i don't know i remember kamur hills kamur hills yes sir is limestone yes, sir. okay kamur hills the extension of vindhyan range yes sir what is the highest peak of that vindhyan range uh, sir uh, it's um, guru shikhar hills i think guru shikhar earlier it used to be in aravalli <laughs> no sir right now it it is also in aravalli okay ma'am Miraj. Yes, ma'am. Do you think that the bill for uh, protection of Muslim women against triple talaq, I was recently passed. Do you think that was more of a, a political gimmick, uh, and say an infringement on the rights of uh, religion customs, religious customs, than actually aimed at uh, empowering women? Ma'am, uh, uh, it was actually brought to properly enforce the punishment for the. talaq e biddat that practice was not good but uh, the the law also has some legal loopholes so which uh, should be overcome like uh, we are uh, uh, criminalizing a civil offense so that is problematic rather than criminalizing it we, we can focus on family courts which will even help us to save the marriage and then uh, uh, if uh, the husband is sent to the jail uh, he will not be able to pay the alimony or compensation so these are the issues uh, which we can overcome to make it more uh, gender friendly and gender justice right but do you think it probably opens up a pandora's box to say infringe on other religious customs eventually going forward in future yes ma'am it may lead to uh, interference in religious matters right and uh, you just mentioned that tourism perhaps could be one of the industries which could be which could save bihar and take it on a path of uh, economic development yes, have there been any particular schemes uh, for tourism in bihar uh, ma'am uh, government is promoting uh, tourism in the form of circuits like uh, they are uh, forming uh, Uh, famous popular uh, circuits in the form of buddhist circuit jainism circuit Ga- even gandhi circuit so they are promoting in this way okay and these circuits are a part of which scheme ma'am it's uh, part of uh, ma'am I, i don't remember right now. okay and uh, are you familiar with the term feminization of agriculture yes ma'am what do you understand by that it actually means the uh, change of uh, role of the gender in agriculture 
uh, it is uh, particularly uh, particularly relevant for Bihar because due to out migration of the males, uh, females uh, the role of females have increased and in, uh, in the agriculture. Right, and uh, is the change in role uh, corresponding with the change in rights of the ma females also? Uh, not really, ma'am, because they have very less land holding rights right now, around thirteen point five. For the females. Yes, ma'am. And uh, do you think probably the government should initiate a gender-specific uh, policy for such females who actually are doing the entire work but are not given adequate rights? Yes, ma'am. There is a need of particular gender-specific intervention because uh, right now they are facing many problems because they don't have uh, land rights. They are not able to avail the credit and even the farm machinery uh, that is not women friendly. So government can intervene to promote some uh, gender specific uh, steps, take some gender specific steps to uh, help the women so that they can contribute positively towards the agriculture and economy. Right. Can you tell me a few uh, things for which uh, GI tags have been given from Bihar? Uh, yes, ma'am. Recently, it was uh, given to uh, Shahilichi of Muzaffarpur, uh, Zardalu Mango, uh, Maghi Pan, and Katani Rice. Any specific uh, reason why the Muzaffarpur district uh, producing lychee was in news in the recent past? Uh, it was due to death of more than 150 uh, child there, due, uh, due to um, AES acute uh, encephalitis syndrome. And uh, what is the say, link between uh, the AES and uh, the lychee producing areas in specific? Ma'am, actually uh, lychee contains some type, uh, some type of chemicals, uh, I don't really remember the name, uh, which uh, if eaten in large quantity in, uh, during the uh, empty stomach uh, can cause some reactions which, is, which may be fatal for the child. Right. And... Uh, so prohibition was introduced in Bihar. Yes, ma'am. Do you think that uh, activity, that practice, has been a success? Ma'am, it uh, not com completely, but but it is bringing change because it was much needed because the people there were too much uh, into drinking and all. So it was also affecting the social fabric of the state. So it was much needed. Uh, we can. Uh, properly enforce the uh, rules and regulations to make it successful. Which could be? Which could be like ma'am, uh, Bihar shares border with uh, West Bengal and all. So we can uh, improve patrolling along the border areas so that uh, that cross-border uh, smuggling can be stopped. What was the real intention behind imposing prohibition in the state? Ma'am, uh, one reason was uh, it was uh, adversely effect affecting women because ma'am, uh, male gender is the real uh, uh, earner in the home mostly. So women are mostly financially dependent on them. If they earn and they spend all these things in drinking, then it will adversely affect the women and even the children in the house. So it was really needed. Right. What are your hobbies, Miraj? Ma'am, playing cricket. Playing cricket. Yes, Do you think cricket as a sport has, uh, for a long time, overshadowed other sports in the country? Yes, ma'am, definitely. What can be done about that? Because as all of us know that hockey is our national game, probably yes, we should change it to cricket. Uh, no, not really, ma'am. Uh, actually, the benefit uh, cricket has uh, some advantages over other sports in terms of the facilities. Like we can play cricket anywhere and everywhere, but uh, hockey we cannot play. We need proper turf for it to be played, and so there is lack of interest among the childrens towards these types of games. So we can promote it by providing proper facilities. Right, so Miraz, you must have. Uh, seen the Constitution of India. Yes, sir. Tell me, what are the provisions in Constitution that uh, are, can be used to uh, resolve the interstate disputes? Yes, sir. What are the mechanisms available? Uh, sir, Constitution provides for uh, interstate council, which can be strengthened so that uh, states and center can sit together and uh, they can talk about the issues and which can be resolved amicably. Also, sir, uh, related to it is interzonal council, 
which can also be used to solve regional problems, regional issues. And uh, Constitution uh, under Article 262 also provides for mechanism to uh, resolve the interstate water disputes, which can also be properly uh, institutionalized to solve the water issues. Okay. Uh, last one from me. What is Rashtriya Siksha Aayog? It was in news recently. Sir, I don't know. Right? No problem. Amiraz, it was very nice talking to you. You can leave now. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down, Amiraz. Thank you, sir. By and large, your um, interview was really good. Your, if we look at the communication parameters, your sitting posture is good, your hand movement is restricted, your eye contact is also good. Mobile communication, by and large, okay. There were a few places where it appears maybe a little louder will help. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Not much, but a little louder. That will help. Generally, on uh, uh, as far as the preparation part is concerned, that is good. By and large, it's good. Uh, only suggestion in the on the communication uh, front is that while you're thinking, sometimes your facial expressions are uh, like a little informal, right? Yes. Uh, while you're thinking, so look at the video ca carefully. Yes, when sir. you think your facial expression goes like, so you just uh, you can probably can work it out. If, nothing to worry about. Even if you not change the eye turn, you're doing perfectly fine. I'm I'm speaking because I have to speak. Yes, I'm sir. suggesting because I have to suggest. That's it. Otherwise, you're doing, by and large, very good. Sometime energy level, it appears that uh, you can, uh, since it was a little longer interview, so the energy level went down after a, po a point. Uh, there, it won't be that long. It will be around 15 minutes, give and take two, two more minutes. So, uh, I'm sure uh, you'll be able to keep that energy yes, level. To them. Otherwise, I'm very happy, by and large, you're doing uh, very good. Your listening is your strength. You listen very carefully, that's why you are able to um, uh, calibrate your answer to the requirement of the board members, which is good. Uh, you can read uh, a bit about uh, new education policy that's being yes, suggested. Sir. Everything else is very good. Take care. All the best. Thank you, sir.